man. Please yeah, do it. That's a that's a historical. This is a huge one, and Faker is going to be locking it in. I remember when he suffered his first loss on this champion after going 100% throughout all of the LCK. It was back in 2015. It was at MSI. It was a huge moment, and now back on this champion once again. We've seen it many times since then, and it's just still such a dangerous pickup. Yep. And Keen if looks you... like um, Keen, Keen looks shocked all the time. Keen, he looks like he's just been surprised yeah, by something. He he looks like he had babysitting dropped on him last minute <laughs> when he was about to go out with his friends. <laughs> you know, yep. so that's that's how Keen tends to appear. He's not amused. Right he is now, not. Though, this okay? this guy is seeing red. And now we get the comparison. This was uh, mentioned on Reddit, but we get the uh, the comparison between the CV Max belt and the Coma belt and see Ooh. whose belt is going to ring true because Koma's belt would have been out after that game number two. See who suffered the most. Didn't see any Impression crying. Buffing. That's the go home button. Not the one that you want to be pressing here. He's going to cancel it. Here we go. Knock up comes in. Doran dodges the sweet spot on the third proc as the flash comes in. Good knock up comes forward. Doran going to go for the easier flash, but it's not enough. First blood goes to Clid at level three. Three minutes in, and we've got high octane League of Legends already. Oh man, and Clit is recalling right now. Okay, he does end up channeling the full ah. recall in this replay. Khan ends up actually missing his third Q, but this was finally well timed, and Doron, it just wouldn't really matter. He couldn't get in oh. position. Yes, oh, you can see. Okay, okay. Koma, okay. he's ready to be excited about SKT again. Now, but before that, you saw it on his face. He was worried. Yeah. He was worried. That belt was obviously out. Oh, Frost oh. comes in. Quick just effort. They're just trying to hang on right now in bottom. Yeah, and actually, you know, the farms oh. even as uh, okay. Viper, the doing the ult. I love this. Absolutely love it. Knock up comes forward. Teddy, fair bit of damage, but no mana. As uh, that was an ultimate thrown down just to clear out a minion wave. Not going to be able to song. utilize any of the new reveal mechanics. Yeah. Of, uh, the chains either, unless some rush is going to be played with. Kingslayer gets a lot of value here in the mid lane, but the chains also has mimic chains that come down as Joby's hijack is working. Yeah. Faker moves back. Uh, what? Uh, have an ultimate. He slipped. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You notice that. Well, oh, Doran's okay. looking for it. Lightning Rush is going to get in. Chovy's going to close the gap as well. Lands the CC. Although there's a bit of a visual bug, and we're going to even out the kill score, and Chovy gets a red buff. Yeah, Toby gets a red buff, and Faker is just not in the best lane state right now. And as we are transitioning from early into mid game now, this is the stage it's of the It's just game. a one shot, all in type of manner, in which case the Ocean Dragon doesn't do anything. Well, right now, Khan underneath his turret, not going to be getting any revives, but you can see a lot of value from those Qs. Slicing Maelstrom comes in as Tarzan's trapped himself in his own Cataclysm. But he's got himself a stopwatch. They're going to be absolutely fine. And all these plates are going to be set out for dinner here for Griffin. Yep. And they get the plates. They get Khan to leave. So Ooh, he's going to miss out Baker on... moving up. But Chovy... As Clid... Oh. 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 Um, okay. They're just going to, I guess, share some pixels oh, for missed. a moment. As the teleport's coming in. But Khan okay. will easily be able to lock down the kill. Teleport from Chovy. But he's not able to answer whatsoever. And uh, the plates are going to go. Remember, the turret didn't go down yeah. for Griffin after Shelly poked her head in. And... Nice. Well, okay. Effort going on in. Lahens getting charmed up by the quickness, but Teddy is trying to get what he can done. Didn't have Blade Puller, I don't think, after that. Oh, okay. Still able to get the range on the Viper there. Softening up these uh, bottom laners of Griffin. But using an aggressive Featherstorm is an interesting choice to make as the Zaya. Definitely your most important defensive tool. Teleport going to come in, and this is what it's capitalizing on. Teddy finds himself in the middle of nowhere as Effort does get the knockup, but Slicing Maelstrom will finish off the Zaya. Effort has to go into his stopwatch, but he has nothing else to do afterwards, and now Khan has teleported into a disaster. That was just bad. Yeah, that was... I'm not quite sure what to yeah, make of Respect the flash. 
Can't closing in onto Chovy though, who picks himself up a Glacial Prison. Good knockup comes down now as the Infernal Chains will arm. All Jeez. of the abilities from Khan come in, but Chovy still able to hold this one. Khan can't hit an ability, will find the last one and should be able to get out. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, even more action as Fake is diving on forward. That was very close to Chovy outplaying, but couldn't quite do it. And now mid lane out of turret is under fire. Looks like SKT have woken up and have turned on the aggression. Yeah. And it looked like Chovy yeah, was maybe going to be able to stabilize. And now as we come back into the middle lane, though, now, let's pay attention to Effort's HP, okay? He has double ocean. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. Check this out. It was yeah. uh, a decent prison that came back, but the permafrost is the biggest problem here for Chovy as far as taking all of those cues from Khan. Yeah, and then right here, I mean, he was trying to do... He found one sweet spot after the right. cues. He was trying to do his best. He got the right one. Quick feet, but... In the end, not able to do anything here, as in the mid lane, Bakery lands the chains, Sir Thomas goes golden. Yep, getting the stopwatch out of uh, Lahens is actually very great powerful. that far. Okay. Oh, Chaos Storm oh. going down once again, but it's the catch on the bottom side, Doran is just dead. Slicing Maelstrom ain't slicing nothing at this point in time. Doesn't get any of those stuns, and this is what happens when SKT gets control of your jungle and gets vision control around the map. They are so good at playing around it, and we witness. Unless good. Trying Doran, to make his way I mean, down. Not going to get the knock up with the Infernal Chains land flash very early. Teleport also uh, thrown in. Khan keeping no. his distance, telling Clid that he doesn't want to take this fight. As now Chovy is going to find the Aatrox. Doesn't hit any of his buttons though. And the Umbral Dash gets Khan to safety. Clid, can he be as lucky as Effort? He's got the quickness. Three men have been oh, Tarzan. caught up by it as Lahens does have. The Devourer in order to get himself out of the way. Okay, Teddy, is he going to be able to get the work done here in the back line? Lahen's in trouble. Chaos Storm doing so much work, though. Khan trying to keep them busy. In the meantime, it is Khan going down, but it's traded as Viper is going to fall. Effort very, very low, but it's a one for one. As this game goes on, Baker gets back to his distortion, Whoa. back to the Mimic distortion. He's in danger now as Tarzan gets himself back in. Teddy picks up that kill, and it's a disruption, a massive explosion of damage as Griffin are going to be lying in the river and SKT move over to the Baron. You know what? I always mocked Ocean Dragon, but look at the region right now. Oh, hell yeah, that's the value. When, when their HP is as low as it just was, they will take anything. And in moments like this, a couple hundred HP regenerated, also still working against the Baron. It's actually going to be useful somewhat. Yeah, I'm calling it Typhoon Drake now. Typhoon Drake. Oh, there we go. Monsoon Drake. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? All right, well, I, I want you to get the right script next time, and I want this team fight to work out as well, as the quickness is doing so much for effort. Battle dances his way out, gets that extra range. Jumping onto Teddy, Tarzan in out of position, and SKT strike, they like a Viper, although Griffin has the Viper on their squad. Oh. Moving on forward, Gravity Field does nothing. Lahens with the Devour, but he may actually get punished for it. Faker. That is not the real one that's up towards the top side. That goes down, but the rest of SKT are brutalizing these Nexus turrets. The first one should go down, but it is Khan that's going to have his back stopped by Chovy. As that tower does bite the dust, SKT still trying to work out whether they can get any more, and they decide to play it safe by the water, which is what we recommend during monsoon season. Yeah. Definitely are playing it safe. They're going to recall. They also got the Nexus turret, so now... Any inhibitor can spell yeah. lights out. Chovy. All right, Khan. They're over the wall. Umbral Dash is going to get him back again. That's what happens when you have 40% CDR on this Aatrox. And oh! Clear. That's the fadeaway. Lahens going to get caught up as in goes Effort. That was amazing, but the grand entrance is not enough. It is able to take down the turret, but no one on Griffin has died just yet. Great Devour saves Tarzan's life. Oh. As Doran almost just gets insta-killed by Faker, and once again the re-engage. And this time, SKT will be able to strike the fatal blow. The second inhibitor falls, and one Nexus turret is going to be there between SKT and keeping their hopes alive. Triple kill from Teddy. It's the Quadra stolen by Clip, but they don't care about that. The last Nexus turret goes down, and the Nexus will fall. They did suffer their first injury, did SKT, but it was not fatal on this day. And this is a really big win for SK Telecom as they continue their trek. Post Rift Rivals, taking down Griffin here is really, really, really big for them.
because Griffin is still one of the best teams in the LCK. And they did so in pretty decisive fashion. Game number two, they almost brought it back after all of the mishaps that occurred early. And they could have definitely won game number two. If you yeah, play out I felt like it was a little points. bit of a throw around the Baron as yes. well. Like, I mean, that was a bit of a problem, but the fantastic true shot for us like this. But this was a clutch game where he was just able to outplay Doran on a different champion matchup and uh, being able to take down that Kenny. It's great to see these SKT players in high spirits, and I think that the power of the Coma Belt is out once again. CV Max couldn't match it this time. This is too strong. It's a little bit too strong, as right now we're taking a look at 